Malaysia has confirmed its first citizen to be affected. 428 were tested positive. Our top story, Malaysia has reported its first two COVID-19 deaths. Malaysia's COVID-19 infections have surged to more than 1,000. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. On 31 December 2019, WHO was informed of cases of pneumonia of unknown cause in Wuhan City, China. A novel coronavirus was identified as the cause by Chinese authorities on 7 January 2020 and was subsequently named the COVID-19 virus. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. COVID-19 are easily transmitted through water droplets such as saliva. The best way to prevent and slow down transmission is to protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hands frequently or using an alcohol such as hand sanitizer. The currently available diagnostic modality for the detection of COVID-19 is reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR. The objective of RT-PCR is to amplify a cDNA sequence based on the RNA template. RT-PCR testing is particularly vulnerable to false negative and false positive results. False positive results arise from DNA contamination in genomic RNA, binding of primer to contaminated DNA and non-sequencing at low temperature. In China, false negative results have been reported at rates as high as 20% to 40%, which raise serious concern over the use of RT-PCR testing. Not only that, but it's also generally very expensive and time-consuming as it takes more than 4 hours for RNA extraction from swab samples. A cost-effective point-of-care rapid, sensitive and multiplex approach for label-free detection of COVID-19 in patients remains unavailable. To overcome this, a promising solution is by using Raman's spectroscopy. Raman is a light scattering technique in which incident light from a high-intensity laser light source is scattered by a molecule. The majority of a scattered light has the same wavelength or color as the laser source does not provide useful information. This condition is called relax scattered. However, a small percentage of light is scattered at various wavelengths or colors depending on the analyte's chemical structure. This is referring to Raman scatter. So, basically, spontaneous Raman spectroscopy or linear Raman spectroscopy is a spectroscopic technique that is commonly used to determine the vibrational modes of molecules via photon scattering. And it can also be used to determine rotational and other low frequency modes of structures. As Raman spectroscopy can differentiate the material from others through fingerprint, Raman spectral libraries are often used to identify materials using their Raman spectrum. During this pandemic, Raman spectroscopy can be used to detect COVID-19 virus. In this video, we will be talking about the nanostructure of virus. The sample can be obtained from saliva. Once the sample has been obtained, the sample is dispersed in host matrix in order for the sample to be fresh all the time. Micro-Raman configuration is used in this spectroscopy. The laser light, which is 785 nanometer, passes through microscope objective lens and then focuses on the analyte. Once the analyte interacts with the radiation from the photons of laser, the points between atoms vibrate and emits energy with different wavelengths. The scattered light with different wavelengths is collected by passing through the lens and then towards filter RELP. The filter, which acts as beam splitter, allows the light to pass through it and rotate to a grating. The filter prevents laser excitation which would saturate the detector. The light reflects from a grating to another grating and the second grating divides it into a spectrum of light. The grating can also reduce the scattered Rayleigh radiation and stray radiation. The spectrum of light projects into an imaging spectrometer which includes EMCCD camera. 
After the Raman results have been obtained, its nanostructure will be compared with the coronavirus from previous research. The purpose of this research is to create a handheld Raman detector which could detect the virus present on skin, but many aspects need to be taken in consideration, other than the nanostructure of the virus itself. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a dramatic loss of human life worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to public health, food systems and the world of work. So, in order to overcome such crisis, we are responsible to follow the standard operating procedure by wearing face masks and maintain social distancing everywhere we go.